Hiya, it's Jana Rose and I just wanted to kind of share with you today about Tokyo and his new album. I don't know if it stands for something I didn't actually look that up, but www. And I'm guessing it's the internet, so in the age of the internet, we have Tokyo. But Tokyo is T-O-W-K-I-O. -O. Um, if you haven't heard of him, then you've probably heard some people he's associated with, like Chance, Vic Mensa, Joey Perp, because they're all together as part of the Save Money crew. Vic Mensa is um, the founder of it. So, yeah, Chicago people. Um, he is um, really actually pretty awesome. I, I enjoyed this album. A um, couple things I'd fix about it, but yeah. So go ahead and subscribe and like this video, and here, let, let's go. Um, uh, so, first of all, don't feel bad if you haven't heard of him before because this is his very first studio album. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, he's part of the Save Money crew and uh, the Chicago Tribune uh, described his sound as 90s soul, jazz, and generally weird with fuzzed out beats. And I totally agree, but I would also um, add some EDM in there too for sure because sometimes he'll get into these moments with a beat and it's definitely very um, electronic at times but he uses it in a way that helps the rap and pumps it up it doesn't detract from it at all okay his flow is tight and so fun i uh, definitely would give his album a 4.5 owls out of five so ow 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 uh, because the sequencing was smooth a little bit i'll fix about that later on um but he keeps my interest um, uh, by playing with different genres. He'll um, kind of try to stretch his range of what he's able to rap over, and it makes it super interesting. So he's versatile, and he really wants to show listeners a good time. It seems like that's his biggest deal. He wants to have fun and get you to have a fun time, and you can feel it. So, mm, uh, it's a definitely a feel-good CD. There's some lessons on here though too, which I like. Um, so if you were to like have friends over and stuff, this would be a good album to like hit play to. You don't have to worry about changing things up too often because he'll change it up within the album for you. And um, sequencing is pretty good uh, again, but uh, you know, it's a great album. I would definitely hit play and do it with some friends around. If you're by yourself too, you'll also have a good time. It is not a boring album. So, track number one, you can hear the gospel influence in this song, like when you think about Chance, you think about that gospel piece to him, and um, that is part of the Save Money crew, they all kind of, I'm sure, mesh and vibe off of each other often, so Swim definitely takes that, some of that gospel stuff to heart, um, and uh, I haven't heard his other EPs or anything to know if this is like something he always does, I just, judging off of this album of his, um, and the lyrics and reading through all that stuff. So um, he really knows his own sound and he knows how to fit his own sound into the different genres. I respect that. Swim is pretty good. Nice start. Um, we go into Symphony, which is cool too, featuring Teddy Jackson, who he has all over this album. And um, in this song, he often asks if a girl would live for him, die for him, sin for him, cry for him or just play along to his symphony and as a girl I would say well it all depends because I'm not gonna live for you or die for you I'm gonna do me and if we have a relationship we can kind of grow together grow off each other so that is super codependent of you Tokyo <laughs> Um, I know it's uh, along that what what Br made Bruno Mars famous and stuff though, you know, that super intense I love you, I'll die for you kind of moments, but I mean, for reals. So the bass line in this song, um, it, it, the first half of the song is fat and then goes to a pop electronic drum to set, up, set the finish off. Um, and Teddy Jackson's voice just really, really is nice. It, it helps this album quite a bit. Um, the next song, Holy Shit, uh, has my favorite line in the album because it makes me laugh. The humor, uh, 
Okay, his humor in general is great. It's very lighthearted. And so this song says, attractive by law, don't care what your friends think. They love to talk shit because their breath stink. <laughs> and it's the way he says it, and he says it in this song. So that's track three on the album. You should listen to it, it's gonna pop out too, and it's gonna make you laugh, and that's, that's kind of a nice thing to enjoy with rap sometimes. Um, Track four, Loose, a top song for me. Um, I want to tell Tokyo that I understand the distance you may feel from the city with the traveling all the time, slightly displaced. Between that and fame, I'm sure everything has been really changing for you. So I'm not surprised that you're feeling distant. You know, that displacement is definitely normal. Um, I'll have to catch Play and Fair song, which you mentioned from your EP in one of the lyrics there, because you're really good. I like this. Um, I'm now a fan and totally interested. So here's a taste of his lyrics. If you want a taste of some of his more introspective lyrics, this is that. Okay. Watch me just manifest. Frankenstein, make it come to life. Float to the skies like Pegasus. I might burn alive. Won't regret my mistake. Trust in the in the sciences. Gotta feel the heat just to know how that fire get. And I'ma keep supplying it because it's high in demand. I got a hunger that could silence the lambs. Like, that's so, it's not convoluted. It is like, um, just layered with mythology references, mythological references. So, um, my only thing is that uh, He's not deep all the time or anything. I hope that it was a good bit for you to chew on for Tokyo. Um, but he's showing you that he can get deep. On uh, At first listen, I thought maybe he would, believed incorrectly about Pegasus and the Icarus story. The Icarus story being you fly with the wings and they're made of wax and then he flew too close to the sun and got knocked down. But then he says it in the same line as Pegasus, which is a flying horse, and they don't have to, you know. Uh, but then I was like, okay, maybe he's just talking about flying and then he wants to talk about falling back down. So he just puts them juxtaposed to each other. So there you go. Um, <laughs> am I thinking too much about those lyrics? I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I just really enjoy this song. So once again, this song is loose because, okay, this is like the pinnacle of the album. Ready? <sighs> okay, to explain this to you. Um, all right, it starts off with a simple keyboard, maybe two notes hit in a beat together. Add in some island beat and some marim marimbas lightly and rapping passionately. And then a girl's voice creeps in as the note, as a note in the background. It's probably like a keyboard or something. Um, his lyrics get hotter and hotter and fiery. And um, when his voice gets more and more stressed, uh, finally he releases with pop, pop, pop. And then at the same time, the guns shot, the gun shot, the gunshots go with it. Or lit up, lit up. <laughs> so good. This is a big EDM moment, um, but it's not too much. The intensity actually comes from the space in between the EDM beats. So, ugh, it's cool. It's cool. So loose, and then soon the next dot song will start, and you won't even realize it, and you won't hear the switch, but you just notice that you're already dancing. And it happens to be to track uh, five now, which is To the Moon. And that has Teddy Jackson again and Grace Weber. And so good. So that transition is brilliant. And those lyrics there are brilliant. And um, this is one of the best tracks as well. Needless to say, I've played the song in the shower a few times because it's percussive. The song bounces well off the title, tiles and it's just awesome, okay? It's light and percussive. One more track I'm gonna go over for you, and that is uh, Morning View featuring SZA, and I know I said her name wrong on a previous review. I don't know what I was thinking. I know SZA, I just was reading probably and tired that day. I don't know, I don't care, okay? So, um, <laughs> I feel like this track, um, I have some issues with though, Morning View. Uh, it's track six on the album, and the issue is not to do so much with the song itself, it's more to do with the sequencing. I feel like they build and then they just drop to Morning View and they go slow and they go slow for two songs and they 
go high again, and then they drop again. If you would take those two songs and move them close to the end and um, like, uh, so after another song that matches the flavor like Hate to Love and then put that all before Alone, which is the last track of the album, which is also kind of slower, but Alone is like an epic moment, like to slow and explain everything in the world and try and put all the pieces back together like a little puzzle um, at the end of the album. I would just put all those kind of slower calming sounds together because it throws my mood off, especially if you're trying to play the CD and just enjoy some friends. Um, so the features on this album are definitely a good asset. Um, it helps, it definitely does. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to mention, um, it was a nice move to put um, on the Forever track, uh, to put Vic Mensa on there because it's about kids and he talks about bringing the mindset back to the kids in the course. And that's something Vic Mensa is very good at, very socially aware. Um, and just has a, a flow that sits tightly in, in the same kind of area as Tokyo too. So definitely way to go. Um, you already know what I think. That's enough of the review. I kind of summed it all up. Have a good one, friends. Ah, please like and subscribe to this video.